I'm at Popeye's and I come to swing by the drive through and this crazy lady screaming and hollering and waving. Is this your family behind you? Yes. How's everybody doing? Good. And uh, she said she's crazy fangirl. Are you her the husband? Yes. And you don't have a problem with this? Not at all. No, this no is I good. follow the whole family. Not so it's not me. just me then. Yeah. Okay. Family I thought this was a real <laughs> sicko. <laughs> That was awkward. <laughs> and um, on their phone, they have all of these pictures of them at the JL Ranch property. And I'm like, bud, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm, 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 I promise you, I'm, in, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a decent guy. He goes, I know, I know. I'm, but uh, no, isn't that funny? I love that, y'all. As much as it seems a little bit strange and I, I'll never get used to it. I will never get used to it. Anyway, I'm driving. That was fun. Pleasure meeting those folks. Good, good people, y'all. Just good people. Well, good morning, folks. Lester here. And uh, thank you all for joining me on the day before. The day before my life changes. Anyone who knows and who's been following along knows that I will be having quite the procedure done. My first colonoscopy. I'm going to read you a book I was gifted to help prep me for all of this. I will start off by showing you a couple of some of the funny parts of the book. I've already spilled coffee on it. Um, <laughs> one of my biggest fears, this is, I don't know why this is maybe a man thing, but, um, look at the picture, the insert and, um, the doctor saying, say hello to my student nurse, Stacy. She'll be observing today's procedure. And then you all have a look at Stacy. I don't know why, but that is also one of my biggest fears. If I have to do this, in front of Dr. Lee, who's an Asian American. Okay, fine. Dr. Lee, an Asian American man. He's older than I am. It is what it is. But God forbid, he has himself a Stacy in there. If he has a Stacy in there, that's going to be an issue, okay? <laughs> and then there's also another one that's kind of a joke, which I think this would be a wonderful idea. A partner's colonoscopy. Yes, a partner's colonoscopy where you and your partner can do it together. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or worse. But uh, anyway, let's get on with the story. And for anyone who's already had this done and who has already been sending me messages, emails, text, WhatsApp, direct messages, and everything else, thank you so much for your words of encouragement. But I think that you would also agree that it's... The first time is probably very difficult. And I am having quite a bit of stress and anxiety in, in what's to become. Here we go. The book is called My First Colonoscopy. I've had many fearful first in my life so far, like my first day of school when I hid in the car. And the first time at the dentist, I shut my mouth for an hour. But what could I do? I was a kid with no power. But when I turned 45, I had a new first that I feared. A long rubber hose that would get shoved right up my rear. <laughs> This sounds horrible, and it's terrifying, y'all. This is darn terrifying. I had plenty of fears, like would my center behave? Would they find scary monsters in those mazes and caves? Um, 
colonoscopy has many syllables. As you can see, the first time I heard it was a spelling B on TV. And then to say and spell it and say it again. Meanwhile, I'm going to get poked like a pig in a pen. <sighs> my rectum was so scared. I thought my anus would shut. The thought of a colonoscopy sent shivers up my you-know-what. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, my gosh. Friend said, don't worry. My son said, do it, Dad. My wife, who never had one, said, Oh, come on. It can't be so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to read the cartoon captions because some of those are not able to be read on a video because of community guidelines with language. Okay. <sighs> Let's keep going. The prep, I was told, was the most difficult part. I have been told that. Warned, stay near the toilet before the starts. Don't eat any jello that's purple or red, or they'll think it's blood in your stool, and they'll give you a week till you're dead. I was more than embarrassed, scared shitless and crazed. Couldn't we postpone it, like, past the holidays? It was colonoscopy time. And it was getting real scary. Would they shave my behind because it's kind of hairy? The doc said, trust me, Bob. You won't even feel sore. Lots of brave guys have done this before. Was Colin Powell brave when he had his done? Being named after your colon... Could not have been fun. That's a pretty shitty joke, but don't blame me. It's my rectum show, and he thinks it's funny. <laughs> Look at some of the cartoons in this thing. <laughs> Colonoscopy isn't a warm or friendly word. And how humiliating if they found a 13-year-old turd. <laughs> yes, I wanted to avoid cancer and polyps and such. Yet, six feet of exploring, it seemed a bit much. Six feet of hose came as quite the shock. It sent millions more shivers right through my, well, it rhymes with sock. <laughs> my first colonoscopy with my ass on his TV. Maybe my a-hole and doctor would take a selfie. <laughs> if they do this to me, if they do this to me and I'm on the internet... That would be horrible. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. When I awoke from the procedure, the doc stood smiling at me. I said, what's with those racing gloves? He said, it was like a freaking Grand Prix. This is making it worse, y'all. This is making it worse for me. This is making it so worse. 
<sighs> he said he never met an asshole that was so squeaky clean. He complimented me profusely on my anal hygiene. <laughs> That's Mr. Clean. <laughs> It was time to go celebrate. Bump fist, hoist some beers. But first, I'll schedule my next colonoscopy with this same doc in 10 years. <laughs> so, my advice to you all may seem a bit crass. Should you schedule your nails? I'm sorry, should you schedule yours now? You bet your sweet ass. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious anyway it just kind of it ends with a cartoon of a couple on a desert island a deserted island and uh, he's even though he's surrounded by sharks and they have a note in a bottle he's still going to make sure that he schedules his next colonoscopy <laughs> for 10 years down the road and of course the end I'm going to tell you all something, and it's the same thing that I told Jamie. And I don't mean this in a negative and derogatory way. And please understand that this is probably going to come out wrong. But I do think that anything that has to go in is always going to be harder for a man than it is for a woman. Don't, 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 don't go there yet, ladies. But just hear me out for a moment. Everything that women do as far as your hygiene, as far as all of the things that you do the positioning, I'll just say it politely, the positioning, those are things that you've been doing and prepping and having done since you had your first female exams. Those are things, positions that you've taken every time you're with your partner in those relations and relationships. Those have to come more natural to you. But for a man who's not putting himself in those types of positions, who's not used to being examined and looked at and probed on. And so I, I get it. I, I, I'm, I'm so blessed to have folks who support me in all of this and everything, but it is difficult. And, and I'm going to get through this. And I want to say thank you for being so supportive in this <sighs> this part of getting older, you know, I'm in my 50s now, and this is what has to happen, and I will keep my fingers crossed that everything goes well, because like a lady told me, I'm going to go ahead and kind of paraphrase her email, is that her partner, who was told to have it done, ended up backing out and saying, no, I'm not going to do it, I'm fine. And he kept telling himself that same thing every year. And then at the age of, I think she said 63, when he began to feel like there were issues by certain signs, and he finally went in and had it done, he was already at a stage four of the, I guess, colon cancer. And it ended up eventually taking his life at a very young age, much younger than what, you know, you ever want to lose your life to something that could have, could have been prevented had you had an early treatment or early detection, okay? So, yes, I will have this done. It's not easy for me. I want to thank you all for being so loving and so supportive for all of the kind emails and things, but, um, uh, listen, we're going to go dark for the next two days. This will be the last video that you'll see from me uh, 
until this is all over and done with. But listen, I love you so much. Please keep me as silly and trivial as it may sound with all of the horrible things going on in our country and in the world. Just try to find a little place to say, help Lester find the courage to get past this. And I will, and I will see you all on the other side, okay? <laughs> Cheers. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.